In the previous video, you learned the basics behind the navigation of TIA Portal. You also learned how to open a recently used project. In this video, we will take a deeper dive into opening projects. With TIA Portal v13, there are two file types associated with projects. First is the app13 file, and second is the zap13 file. An app file is the uncompressed project that you actively work in within TIA Portal. This is where your project changes get saved when you click Save Project. A zap file is a compressed version of that file and is commonly used for sending and storing projects. A zap file cannot be edited until you retrieve it in TIA Portal. This creates an app file that you can edit. App and zap file types have a number attached to them. This represents the version of TIA Portal they were created in. For instance, an app 13 file only works with TIA Portal version 13. To open an app 13 file, otherwise known as your project file, find the icon with the folder and the green arrow. Alternatively, you can go to the menu bar, click project, and then open. This dialog presents us with all of our recently used projects. If you find the project you want here, simply click on it and then press open. If you don't find the project you want to work on here, you'll need to browse for it. To do so, click browse. So let's say I want to open up my project. To do so, I will click on the folder, find my app 13 file, and then press open. As you can see now, the project tree changes and my project is open. Now I can go into my PLC code and say make a change. Once I'm done making my changes, I can save my project by pressing the save project icon or by going to project and then save. To close the project, I can go to project and close. Now, if I open up a project again, you'll see that my project now exists in my recently used project list. It's important to note that an app file is not the only file uh, behind a project. Uh, for instance, if I were to open up the My Project folder, we can see I have an app13 file, but it's part of a larger folder structure. Therefore, I can't send someone a project just by sending this app13 file, rather I would have to send the whole folder. For instance, if I were to take this file out of my folder structure, put it somewhere else, and then try to open that file, I'll get an error saying that the project has been damaged. That's because the app13 file depends on those other folders. So to correct that, I'm gonna move my app13 file back into the My Project folder, and that way it can refer to these folders above it. If I go back into Portal, and now if I try to open it, you'll see it successfully does it. Since the app13 file is so dependent on the folders above it, we typically will not send out the whole folder because if anything were to happen to that file structure, it could lead to a corruption in the project. Therefore, we do what's called a project archive and retrieve. And this is the zap13 file. To open a zap13 file, you need to go to the menu bar under project and then say retrieve. If you have a project open, it will give you this warning message saying, do you want to retrieve an archive project? And if you say yes, it will save your current project. So I will say yes in this case. Next, you want to browse for that archive project. So here I want to open up project XYZ, and as you can see, it ends in the Zap13 file extension. I single click that and then press open. Next, it's going to ask me where I want to store that project. So I'll store it here in my projects folder. 
It's important, though, to make sure that you don't already have a project called, say, Project XYZ. If you do, you'll need to make a new folder to store this one in. So I will press OK. And it is now extracting out my project from that ZAP13 file and making an app13 file called Project XYZ. Now that the project has been retrieved and unarchived, I can edit it just like I did uh, a few minutes ago. So for instance, here on my PLC, I can go to my program and I can make edits and save those edits. And the saving of these edits is gonna get saved to the app13 file. The zap13 file is no longer used. So let's say I made a bunch of edits and I wanna go send this uh, project to my colleague. The best way to do that is to use a method called a project archive. To archive your project or create a zap13 file again, you go to project in the menu bar and then press archive. Next, you're gonna to want to browse for a place to store this project. So for instance, I'll go here on my desktop and hit save. Now, Portal is taking all my project information and compressing it into one file, the zap13 file. Now, I can go to my desktop and I can find that file and I can now email it to one of my colleagues. Along with sending these files to your colleagues, uh, doing an archive is the proper way to make backups of projects. Uh, that's because these cannot be edited directly, um, and that way you can make a, a restore point to come back to if you need to at a later time. Finally, let's discuss uh, what you need to do if you want to rename a project or save it in a different location. Uh, you can go to Project and then Save As. So if in this example, I wanna change project XYZ to project XYZ V2, I just type it here in the file name and then press save. You'll see that it will save it under a different path and change my project name. So that's about it for opening and closing, archiving and retrieving. In the next video, we're gonna be covering uh, some of the most commonly used editors within TIA portal.